Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LLA. How are you? Did you crush the bacon? <laughs> Did you save me the bacon? Uh, boy, it's Sunday. Can you imagine Sunday? How did we get to Sunday? I'm so glad you're here. Big exciting news about your second soon must check. As the president tees up the Senate Republicans to support the $2,000 stimulus check. Yes, this is really great news. Everything is sort of falling into place quickly. And we certainly need that because the federal government's about to shut down. This won't impact your Social Security benefits or your railroad benefits coming on time. But what this is, is really setting the dynamic ready to get a $2,000 stimulus check approved in the next two, three days. It's all really exciting, great news, and I have it ready for you on this big early morning broadcast of Early Mornings LL8. Good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LLA. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And thank you for joining me on Overnight LLA right before this show. If you've not subscribed, please do, because now this is a 24-hour news channel delivering you 12 videos at least throughout the entire day from 1 a.m. to the next 1 a.m. the day after. It started overnight with EIDL at 1 a.m. on the West Coast, and then two and one hour later, the new PUA show, answering your questions about PUA and FQC and UI, a throwback show that gets everything that you need to understand about the unemployment assistance, and also EIDL, because it's coming back in th third stimulus in January. So please subscribe, also like this video. Over there is an instant chat premiere and allows you to chat with your friends if you're tuning in when this show debuts at three o'clock on the West Coast, 6 a.m. on the East Coast. An instant chat premiere allows you to chat with the same wonderful people who tune in every morning on Early Mornings LA, about a half million people. So say hello and introduce yourself and get ready for the rock and roll. And, Great news across the board today, so that's what's really good to start the day. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that the president's doing exactly what you would hope him to do, and this is great. He's teeing up and pulling all the senators of the GOP that supported for the $600 stimulus check bill to get them on point for the $2,000 stimulus check bill. What the president is doing is understanding that you only need a certain number of votes to pass the Senate. And the last time it passed the Senate, it passed by a lot. That is without cert, without doubt. The number of Republicans who supported the $600 stimulus check bill was so robust that there was enough to actually override a veto, but they're not going to do that. So what the president's doing now is he's pooling how many of the Republicans on who support the $600 stimulus check bill would support an amendment for a $2,000 stimulus check bill. And that could be done within 24 hours of its starting and ending. That's all really exciting. The passage from the, how, from the House to the Senate, to the President's White House table next week could be done in all of just a few hours. An amendment is just a one-page document. It says, I'm changing 600 to 2,000. It passes the House, it passes the Senate, and then it lands on the President's table. Now, you may be wondering, what about that foreign aid issue? What about that museum aid aid issue? Well, it's those are sort of the, the, the ringers, the, the red herrings, because at the moment we don't know if they really are deal breakers or not. Since Tuesday, the president has not mentioned those other two provisions. The Republicans have, of course, because they want to deflect away from the stimulus check. Those are the Republicans who don't want to give you a stimulus check. That's not the concern of my of, of we where we are right now. The concern is whether the president is really, you know, gonna hold up a two thousand dollar stimulus check because there's money going to Kenya, or hold up a two thousand dollar stimulus check because there's money going to a museum. At the moment, doesn't look like he is. And that's the great news. You and I have the same thought process. We don't care if there's money going to a museum, so long as we get our darn stimulus check. So long as we get a $2,000 stimulus check, you can give money to three museums. We don't care. It's as simple as that. So ultimately, the push of the president on the single most important and only big issue, the $2,000 stimulus check, has been heating up 
all weekend long. He met with Lindsey Graham in Florida to pull how the Senate would vote. Senate, uh, Senate votes are only needed for those moderate Republicans who support the $600 bill. Lindsey Graham is one of those people who wants you to have a stimulus check. I've detailed him a lot. Um, I mean, there have been moments in which he said some comments that are just like, what are you saying? I'm just really not clear. But he said in the fall, as I report on this channel, he wanted to support the, the, the original problem solvers bill, the one that had the $1,500 check in the fall and then another $1,500 check in the spring, $3,000 worth of stimulus check. He supported that. He said that this is, this is so silly. Why aren't, we, why aren't we doing this? This is so obvious. And the problem solvers bill had $400 of FPUC retro, going to $600. It had some, you know, big ticket items. Lindsay supported it. So Lindsay's more of the president's mindset, which is spend money, spend the money. It goes into the economy. It's not the fault of the American people. The president made the message very clear over the weekend. This is what you do and this is where to get it done. Now, the good news is that other people procedurally are set up to do the exact same thing. Nancy Pelosi on Monday says, or Tuesday, she's going to do the same thing. She's going to do an amendment that changes $600 to $2,000, introduces it to the House, it'll pass the House, then it'll go to the Senate. Ultimately, all the president needs is the same number of votes. And, you know, at most, he could probably do it for a little bit less, still and still pass, in the Senate that support the $600 stimulus check bill to support the $2,000, and we're done. We are done. It'll land on his table and it'll be signed and we will be done by the end of the day. Now, what's exciting about that is the routing time. The routing time, because I told you, you weren't going to get a stimulus check this week. Come on. It's Christmas. You're not going to get a stimulus check this week. And I also told you no stimulus check would land in your bank account next week. That was a fake narrative set by Steve Mnuchin. He said it's going to go out. Well, yeah, go out. Go out where? It's not going to land in anyone's bank account next week. It takes 10 days. The good news is you won't lose any real big days with it, its past Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, because the stimulus check was never going to go out before Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So if, it, if the bill becomes law on Tuesday, you add 10 days. 10 days, calendar days, lands in your bank account. If you're signing for electronic receipt, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, veterans benefits, or you pay your taxes electronically, 10 days electronically, you're done. And this is what's really important. I'll explain at the 10 minute mark why I want you to get this stimulus check in addition to state stimulus, which is a big subject on this channel, Purple and Purple Power Live every night, in addition to that, because you're going to be in a in an issue, a bind around the first week of January. More about that at the 10 minute mark. Stay with me. It's coming up later in this video. Um, but what I want you to see is that if this is done on Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to have the check in 10 days. You're done. It's as simple as that. Now, yesterday, Joe Biden spoke. Well, actually, he didn't speak. He issued a news statement. And it was a little bit, you know, uh, <laughs> I would just say not really focused, uh, a little bit out to left field, a little bit uh, wrong. Well, actually, it was very wrong. <laughs> Let me say what, tell you what he was talking about. He said that it, the president is basically abdicating his duties as president by not signing the $600 stimulus check bill that's on his table in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. It's a bad bill. It's a bad, 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 bad bill. There's a $600 stimulus check in there. It's junk. It's a junk bill. As I said, it's a junk bill. It's not an abdication of his authority not to sign a junk bill. Do we just sign junk all the time? No, we're not going to sign junk. Uh, in the same statement, Joe Biden said, you need to sign this. We need this to go out right now. Now, there's two things that are very funny about this in a strange way. One, the rest of the Democrats don't agree with him. He's the number one Democrat in the United States now, and the rest of his party doesn't agree with him. Nancy Pelosi is doing the exact opposite. She's doing a $2,000 stimulus check amendment on Monday. She did one on uh, two days ago. She can do it again on Monday. So she's not agreeing that the president needs to sign this bill. She's doing exactly what the president has asked for. That's the great news. The other great, the other strange bit about this is Joe Biden says, well, in, the president needs to sign this thing right now because I'm going to take care of you this in January. This is a down payment. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. A down payment for what, Joe? I'm not going to tell you. What do you mean you're going to tell me? Earlier this week, Joe Biden was asked, are you giving American stimulus checks in January? Because you have a lot to say about this stimulus check. Oh, yeah, I am. Well, how much is it? I'm not going to tell you. What do you mean you're not going to tell me? I'm not going to tell you. It's up for negotiations. <laughs> this is a down payment. Let me explain an example of what a down payment looks like, a bad down payment. 
<laughs> Take the six hundred dollars stimulus check bill, and next year I'll give you the remainder. I'll give you four hundred dollars the remainder. So you get thousand dollars. This was a down payment for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, how about I'll give you the I'll, the, I'll give you one hundred fifty dollars next year. This was a down payment for seven hundred fifty dollars stimulus check bill. I mean, yeah, if you want us to eat a six hundred dollars stimulus check bill or digest it or be able to swallow it, because none of us could swallow that horrible price, then at least tell us what it's a down payment for. It's a down payment for a five thousand dollar, a ten thousand dollar stimulus check. It's just a, it's just twenty percent down. You're gonna get a five thousand. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, you promising me that? You promising me we get a five thousand? Then maybe we could digest this down payment thing. But the, you know, every time that someone says it's a down payment for something that is air, ghost, uh, puffery. <laughs> <laughs> this is a word called puffery. It means it's uh, it's just superlatives. It doesn't. It, it's air. It's just it's 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 smoke and it's smoke and mirrors. And at least tell us what the number is. Otherwise, it's not a down payment for something. And so with that, at the ten minute mark, as promised, let me get to where you are first week of January. This is very very important. So I want you to get this stimulus check, and I want you to get state and the local. Um, money from Purple and Purple Power Live. I want you to get this, and you can get it because the nonprofits are paying rent all over the place, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. You better get it because if you don't, you're going to see the bind you're going to be in the first week of January. Let me explain right now the bind. The bind is the state unemployment departments have old computers, and they've been saying this for months, and no one's listening to them except me and you. Steve Mnuchin ignored them. Nancy has ignored them. They say basically the following. When you change something for the state unemployment departments, it takes about a few weeks to a la at least a month for them to make the change on the computer. The change may be to reactivate PUA or FPUC, which expired. Yeah, that thing. Uh, to to put FPUC into the computer, three hundred dollars a week. Yeah, that thing. To um to reactivate accounts where people were no longer eligible, were inactive, and put them back to active status because of bill passed in Congress. Yeah, that thing. So what's going to happen is that even if this becomes a law, this bill by amendment to two thousand dollars stimulus checking becomes a law next week, there's going to be a delay. There's going to be a darn delay, and the delay is going to delay at least your last week of December check, your check for the unemployment of the and the, the last week of December, the first week of January, and the second week of January. I'm predicting at least into the middle, second week of January, you're going to see your unemployment benefits delay. Why can I say this very confidently? Because I started reporting unemployment videos FPUC on Jan April 25th. This channel just turned eight months old. I started on April 25th. I've recorded a video every single day, every single week since that day. It's over 300, 400 videos. I know how slow state computers are. I went through it with the viewers of this channel. And I know they've updated them since then, but they're darn slow. And they, the fastest computers of states is, you know, a one or two week delay. So if you, your, your first and second week of unemployment benefits in January, February, it's not going to come on time. It's going to come all delayed. And in the best states, it'll come by middle January. And the worst states, it'll come in middle February. Expect a week, a month delay in the bad states. People are acting like this thing doesn't exist. I mean, it's uh, just do people have selective amnesia? When I was reporting on April 25th, I had viewers um, who went from April all the way to the first week of June until they got a penny from Florida and Texas. And it's not because their application was pending. It was because the states had not gone live. They had taken weeks before they ever paid a penny to anyone for PUA. And so that's the problem is that these states are really, really slow. So as a result, I want you to understand that the stimulus check is going to be really key, that if it gets passed next week, then 10 days from there, that stimulus check, that $2,000, would route around the time that you're in this sort of this not getting paid for unemployment period, you really would need that stimulus check. It's two thousand dollars for all adults up to age uh, two thousand dollars for adults, four thousand dollars for married couple, uh, up to a family of four, and adult dependents would not get a stimulus check. Minor dependents would get six hundred dollars stimulus check. It's not taxable. It is taken out for ta child support. It's not taken out for collections and debt. And with that, there's so much else happening. In the video right after this, I'm going to go over what else is in the second stimulus package. There's a lot of really, really good stuff in there. Meantime, the two or three things that are missing, I'm going to go over how quickly you're going to get them, because you are going to get them. You're just not going to get them in second stimulus. And then 
I'll turn to third stones, SSI and SSDI $2400. That'll be covered in the next video. As always, have a great morning. Join me in a few minutes at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3.30 Pacific Standard Time for the continuation of early morning.